hello everyone so today we are going to implement this turn in uh, body turn in animations so uh, procedural animation so when I try to move left or right the character will turn his body like this depending on the direction I am trying to turn this and this so those are the things I'm going to work on today so what happens is the character turns from the spine a little bit to the if I'm trying to turn right the character turns to the right from the spine bone a little bit and then also bend forward and then the character is moving down with the hip similarly when I try to turn left character is turned to the left with the spine and also move for uh, bend forward a little bit while moving down the hips so yeah let's see how to do those things and this episode is sponsored by these generous people thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right so this is what we have at the moment uh, so when I turn actually there is no any reaction in the body so it just turns so I won't so the next step I want to improve is to show some reaction in the body when I try to turn so okay and actually still I don't have any more animations than just standing idle on the skate and pushing with the foot right so let's open our character blueprint and the animation blueprint this is the character blueprint which does the wheel tracing that's not important uh, let's open the character animation blueprint right now here we have this two bind two bone IK enabled for the foot okay let me add a comment mm, foot IK so now I'm gonna modify the characters a spine to show some turning like this I don't know if it would be realistic let's see how it looks and then let we can decide mm, okay now here I'll add the transform modify bone note to the which bone spine and yeah okay uh, so here translation ignore rotation let's say add to existing in the component space I don't know let's see let's add something here okay that's like this okay what about this one 
okay it's like this what about you all right I guess these are the things I need to change so I'll keep this one as 30 and this one as also 30 and then using this more right what kind of a value I get for the more right let's see ah it's use inputs okay so let's directly use this and see how it looks So it works, but not uh, it doesn't work in the negative way. So I'll keep this one as oh now let's promote this to a variable. Mm, let's call this turn alpha. And when we set this more right, let's set an alpha like this. Get an alpha and lerp it to whatever the value we get from more right with an alpha of what? Um, Let's just put a direct value. How about 0 0.04? See, it doesn't turn left ah okay yeah the thing is this if I set a minus value here then actually I don't think minus values work here let's set it to minus one see this doesn't bend to the other way so what can we do I'll keep this one as alpha, as uh, one and uh, then make rotate Here, let's use turn alpha and roll should be 30 you also should be 30 right now if this value is minus 1 it should bend the other way like this cool I first set it to 0 let's go forward and it bends this way and that way maybe we should we should prevent character turning in the same place so that's 
So how to do that? Here when we add the moment input we can do something like this. Mm. We can get velocity. the character and then vector length so let's first see what kind of a, oh, we know that the velocity would be like max walk speed is 1200 okay so right uh, let's do it like this and this one I'll add two more zeros here so it will be more slow and also if the character is not moving this will not be applied see now I'm pressing right and left and right but it's not turning but once I start to moving it turns so but we should have a considerable value here so let's subtract uh, let's say 100 or maybe 50 but this cannot be negative so therefore I'll clamp this between zero and thousand no hundred let's say character does turn maybe it should bend uh, to forward direction how about if I add some pitch let me make this one but if I make this also 30 okay wait minus 30 right so when I try to turn let me break this because even if I'm trying to turn left or right the character should bend forward it should never bend backward so I break this two and okay and the pitch so for the pitch I'll get um, absolute value of this one so no matter when it is plus or minus I will only get the magnitude of that the absolute value and then let's multiply it with 30 no it should always bend forward so minus 30 yeah. 
Ah, il a tiré. I think I need to further reduce this more right value. Yeah, I guess that's too much. Let's reduce one more zero. Oh. Now that feels like too slow and turning. Right. So let's see that this. I'm pretty sure he will break his neck if he is doing skating for real. But we could, what we need, some kind of a response in the body when we try to turn. So let's reduce the effect a little, maybe 20. Okay, right, so can we add some displacement to the hip of the character when it tries to turn? Because the lower body part doesn't really show any reaction. Let's check. Okay, pelvis. Uh, let's add some displacement to the pelvis. But I think I'll have to do it before applying foot IK because. because uh, I even though I have a displacement the foot is a child bone of the pelvis and then uh, foot will be moved from the 
at a stitched uh, the location the foot needs to be stitched into the board if I add the displacement after this foot IK part so therefore let's add another transform modify board node here and turn alpha make it zero no make it one okay and here as the bone select the pelvis translation mode add to existing let's see component space and translation which one i should modify forward no that's not what I want to change right I guess that's the direction I want to change so just like before let's make vector and multiply it with the turn and form and here in the y let's set 20 now when it tries to turn to right I think it should move in the other direction let's see how it looks okay that seems good So now I think I should further reduce these effects because I feel like it's kind of exaggerated. Which is alright, I guess. Okay, let's see. okay um, what else we can change maybe we should move down the pelvis a little bit that means which one I should change Right, 
so yeah well i don't think i should move up any more than what we have at the moment so therefore let's break this x oh sorry break this one too x and y we are not changing sorry y is where we are changing y but for is it i'll clamp this um no we can't clamp oh, yeah, we can clamp between c minimum as minus 50 and maximum zero or maybe a little bit like two but actually no even if we are trying to move left or right this should always be all right this is a case like this one so we just have to get the absolute value and multiply it by minus 50 yes uh, let's check the animation without moving when I oh the left the back foot is moving which is not good ah no no it is moving because okay i know what's wrong the initial value of back foot alpha back foot initial back foot tag is not enabled so let's enable it now it should be all right yeah so when we turn left or right character moves his body a little bit downwards the right leg looks a little bit unrealistic so how can we fix that and the right foot the target direction let's make it like this yeah now it looks better now the way it bends is quite good okay now let's move okay so this is the final demonstration of the system we implemented today and i'll stop this episode at this point right so as always project files will be available for the download through the patron page 
uh, and link would be in this video description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye